when you know who you are, no one can fart in you. That's no joke. When you know who you are, no one can frighten you. I've taken some extra measures as I've been requesting and giving YouTube advice for safer environments for those of us who are trauma survivors. And we ask our precious, wonderful mother, father, god, goddess, We think in advance, we don't even have to always ask. 13 feet tall, holy archangels surround us all. And we will be blessed if we do not allow negative energy to disrupt us anymore. So I'd like anybody that is a subscriber of this channel to please read the description box and send me an email if you'd like our new location. Because my Anita 1111, bless her heart, uploaded, returned to Cinder. Yes, energy is moving so quickly now that we will return to Cinder. It will come back to you. We don't even have to do it. We are here to transmute it. And at a certain point, we do have to say, that's enough of acting like little devils running around demanding that we answer to them like they are God or something. And we need not be confused at all. The gospel is about forgiveness. The gospels of Christ. Anyone can go find the scriptures on judgment. I want to know what Jesus did do. Paulo Santo, we're so grateful. I'm going to be teaching at a different location. The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Before 722, if anyone's interested. Please send me an email and I'll give you the new information. For protection and safety purposes for my mental health because crafty cat knows i've worn a heart monitor twice in the past year and i'll be blessed if i don't stand up and say i'm not apologizing for all the hell they put me through and blaming me and talking about my child how dare they call me a liar when I've got screenshots of everything. I'm not. Don't ever defame my child's character. Hate and bully speech, those are all the options. And I've already done what I need to do to protect myself. And the reputation of my child. It's not very polite to speak ill of the dead. Considering my child's spirit isn't dead, they might want to check themselves before they wreck themselves if they think they know anything about my child. Because 722 is coming up, the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. And blessed are we, the poor in spirit. Matthew 5 for 2021. So the Bible says no weapon formed against us shall ever prosper. We're not given a spirit of fear. So anybody that likes to take pleasure in public humiliation and like hate gang stalking cults, it's called gang stalking, and then report me for a privacy violation. We send that right back to you. We thank you, Spirit. We thank you, Archangel Michael. 
We thank you, Yahshua. We thank you, Mary Magdalene. We thank you so much for sending with all negative energy. Anything that comes against us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Yahshua. We are so grateful for peace on earth. Your gospel of peace. We are so grateful that all your dear children we send abundant by our healing glow and light into every single heart and every single mind in this reality in this time and space to heal everybody that you have brought here on this earth all your beautiful children to touch deep into their hearts and activate whatever it is they've got stored in their mind that needs to be healed. Bring it to the surface. We release all past trauma that hasn't been addressed yet so that people could come to heal. We love to heal our healers, your beautiful children, all of them. Whatever wounds that your dear children are still running from, ask you to reach into their heart and pull them close to you so that they can heal and we can all learn forgiveness and love and healing through this process we are so grateful Ephesians 6 and 10 is the full armor of God our words have great power our words alone are the power but I am going to get this out here because I did this every single day in church, in prison. Before I left my cell, this is why I can recite so well because I actually studied. And so I'm preparing for this Feast of Mary Magdalene fast up here, coming right up. 722. I'm so excited. Ephesians 6 and 10. I'm going to get this out here, upload this, and uh, I've got some stuff i got to do. Ephesians 6 and 10. This is put on the full armor of God. Season of weapons formed against us shall ever prosper. Beware. The devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking to steal, kill, and destroy. The minds of humans in judgment. And the enemy promotes fear, chaos, and confusion. So anybody, who's everybody serving, I'd like to know. Christ or the media? The World Wide Web of Lies? I hope everybody's unsubscribing from stuff. The more stuff you're subscribed to, the less you see. You need to have your bell turned on every time they update. They quit giving you guys notifications. So people need to be paying attention if you want to get the link for the new place. You'll have to send me an email. 13 sign healing at gmail.com. I've even I've made all new stuff. All new everything. Ephesians 6 and 10. Wake up from your sleep is number five. I'm gonna write this. The armor of God, Ephesians. A fight to the finish. Six and ten it is. And that about wraps it up. God is strong and he wants you strong. So ever, take everything that the master has set out for you. Well-made weapons of the best materials. And put them to use so you will be able to stand up to everything the devil throws your way. This is no afternoon athletic contest. We'll walk away from and forget about in a couple of hours. This is for keeps a life or death fight to the finish against the devil and all his angels, a whole empire of human beings with devil energy. Be prepared, it's an archetype. The devil's an archetype. I'm gonna go over that in tonight's meditation over at the new place. Be prepared, you are up against more than you can handle on your own. Take all the help you can get. Every weapon God has issued. And when it's all over, 
but the shouting, you'll be on your feet. Truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation are more than words. Learn how to apply them. You'll need salvation. You know, you'll need them throughout your life. God's word is an indispensable weapon when used properly. The word has much power. In the same way, prayer is essential in ongoing warfare. This is a spiritual warfare chapter. It's a psychological warfare. Spiritual, chemical, mostly psychological. So you have to be real careful what you're allowing, who you're allowing into your world, and what you're allowing into your ears and eyes. Because there is lots of people that love to confuse us everywhere. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open and keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind or drops out. And people that got to watch videos all the time, they don't trust themselves. If they need to know what's on the news, they don't trust themselves. If they are having more dreams, they're watching that kind of stuff. Whatever people are watching is what they become. That's how it is. We really are what we eat, what we believe, what we watch, what we listen to. So protect thine own ears and eyes. Go inward. The answer to your question is love. What was the question? I gotta be fast. See, I'm on fire now. Because this is coming up and I'm not going to be distracted by anyone. And don't forget to pray for me. Pray that I'll know what to say. And have the courage to say it at the right time. Telling the mystery to one and to all. The message that I, jailbird preacher that I am, am responsible for getting out to... <laughs> Oh, yes, it's true. Girl, you know it's true. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Boys and girls, I love you platonically. Platonically. I love everyone equally. I don't like the way people are behaving, but that's not my choice. That's their choice. Some people. Some people. All my loyal, beautiful subscribers, no matter how long you've been here, I love you all so much, and I'm so grateful for all of your love and support on this mission. But we're making some changes. So if you want to know all the details, please send me an uh, email. Because uh, we're making ch ch changes. And to anybody that's new here, welcome. Please take a moment to read the description box. And find out if this channel is suitable for you. If it's not, please exit. We focus on healing traumas and addictions. Specifically abuse trauma. Narcissistic abuse trauma. So I've, I've heightened security uh, with YouTube and everything. I've been writing YouTube a lot. And they are making big changes. It's wonderful. We are so grateful for safer communities. Tysis, my good friend here, will tell you what I'm doing and how things are going with me. He's certainly a dependable servant of the Master. I've sent him not to tell you about us, but to cheer you on in your faith. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, my dear brothers and sisters. Right. <laughs> That's how it goes. Love mixed with faith be yours from God the Father and from the Master Jesus Christ. Pure grace and nothing but grace be with all who love our master, Jesus Christ. And we send you peace. Ooh, the dance of words and exclamations. Paul's happiest letter, the Philippians. So, anybody that's new here, I have fainted twice in the past year. And I hurt myself really bad the last time. And all my subscribers that have been here for quite some time know this. And if, if they were following along, they would know. If they were here and they knew, they would know. And they would know what I've gone through in my lifetime and how this last year was and the, the whole year 
for my child that's sent in this earthly realm. If anybody's new here, my child and I are sex abuse survivors. And um, they had my child on way too much testosterone and psychotropics to deal with the flashbacks of trauma, torture, abuse of unspeakable levels. And I'm really doing my best to make it through this. I have uh, no alcohol on July 22nd for one year. And there have been times that I have, for the first time in years, felt suicidal. Being off six and a half years of opiates, I'm Heather Dawn. I struggle with self-worth and self-love as a torture survivor. Of severe levels of mental torture, of emotional, verbal, physical, psychological, unspeakably sexual, held beyond my will, threatened if I tell anyone to be harmed or killed or silenced, threatened over and over. Um, it takes a great bravery to get up and speak. I'm Heather and I'm a grateful recovering addict, ex-addict. I'm an overcomer like the man Jesus song. She's an overcomer. Stay in the fight till the final round. Do they can't imprison the message? No, they can't. They can't stop the good news. The best day of my life was when I found out how much Jesus loved me. And my life has not been the same since I got baptized. I dove in. And everything I asked for just started coming to me fasting and praying. My heart is on fire for Jesus. But I learned to speak universal healing ways. To gather all of the people that didn't believe in Jesus. Most of my prayers in my prayer book were to send me to the ones who needed salvation. Because the ones who are too proud are too proud to admit that they might need salvation. They're too proud. So they're not they're not gonna get the message. We forgive them. Forgive us, we know not what we do. I've got my little baby back here. And I miss that kid. I beat myself up for so long because I didn't even know that my ex-husband was hurting her. I was working two jobs. And I, I, I'm Heather. I struggle with suicidal depression. And life without my child is... Her spirit's not dead. And now I got redemption and forgiveness in ways that will touch my heart forever. From God, from Christ. It's other humans that don't forgive. My child and I were very close in the end. And I said to hold on to everything that's good. I have a an abundance of suicide notes. This one is after the fire. I almost burned alive. It's in the, I'm gonna leave all my videos here and I'll just remove the thumbs up and down and I'll shut off the comments if I have to. I'm so grateful to Donna Flagg's video because I didn't know how to do all that stuff. I struggle with short-term memory loss from stress, severe bleeding, fainting, vagus nerve damage from such abuse trauma, torture. 
131 of 2019. It says Mama, she was in the psychiatric ward for disassociation and psychosis on alcohol. And I had to keep telling everybody, quit giving it to her. And our house caught on fire when I was in the middle of a live fire on Facebook at my parents' house. And I was in the basement, and the only way out was the garage. And my child oh, was so scared. This is covered in tears. And it's in the same spot I was reading the Bible that night, seven hours before the fire. Psalm of David, 69. That's her father's name. And when someone hurts you and your child so badly, you might want to beat yourself up forever trusting that person into your life. But that's just how tricky and deceptive people are. Can be. Not all people. Not all men are bad. Not all women are bad. Anybody that's abusing someone is abusing them to make themselves feel better and they were abused and they were leaving DB Link. So I'm gonna go after this. Psalm of David 69 and I even changed the words so that I would never wish harm on anybody. I said, ooh, don't say that. Drunks and gluttons make up drinking songs about me. Well, I did. David was really wanting in that one. And he wanted them to get punished. It says, Mama, I know you haven't been there a lot. I was so sick. But I want you to know that I forgive you. As you read this, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. If anything were to happen to you, I don't know what I would do with myself. I cry as I write this because I love you so much. More than air, earth, fire, and water, I would give up all the elements just to make sure you are okay. I would give my life just to see you smile. I hate to see you cry and to argue. No more fighting. Nothing but love and prayer. I love you more than air. Sincerely, your only son, Kenny. So I think about this song when I see you smile and I keep singing for my angel. It's covered in tears. <laughs> When I see you smile. So I keep up the smiling pictures and not the painful the everything. And I'm getting through all of the material things as best as I can and the ashes and it's still so triggering. So when I hear these other people talking about transgender children and saying they know everything about my child. Tony said that. He knows everything about my child. He already knows everything because he knows everything. And you want to come at me and my child and not expect a reaction. I pray that you do not have children, Tony. And if you had children, you would not be acting like this. And I think some of the people that are reacting the harshest to some of this stuff were abused themselves. Uh, most of the people who are really fed up about it and still so angry and dug in deep to it were us. A lot of them are abuse survivors. And they want justice. They're angry. Um, they don't have forgiveness. And that's what Christ is all about. So I'm going to end this. And I love you all so much. Um, get a hold of me on the uh, 
on the email. It's 13 sign healing. It's in going to be in the description box below. I'm not sure that I'm going to stream live from this channel anymore at all. And if people aren't paying attention, they won't pay attention. They're, they're going to miss the boat. Don't miss the boat. So have a wonderful and blessed journey. Eyes above, so below. We now surrender all control. Eyes within, so without. Love will be our eternal mantra. I'll check you guys out later. Peace and love to all you beautiful angels and keep shining, superstar. That's right, you are. We do all shine on, like the moon and the stars and the sun, with or without the low vibrational stuff. We gotta do what's best for us at all times to protect ourselves at all times. We call upon 13 feet tall, holy archangels to surround us all. Guardian, guiding, warring, and ministering angels. The angels really are real. Don't let anybody try to deceive you with that. Blessed be y'all. I love you all so much. Keep shining superstars.